Hi, it's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo. We're very lucky today to have a pre-production sample of the Canon R1 in-house. And our local Canon rep is here, and the Super Canon rep from the Pacific Northwest is here. So we've had a chance to get some training on this. And I am very impressed with the power of the amazing Canon R1. Now, you can't buy this camera yet. It'll be available the end of November. And if you want one before the end of the year, you better call Paul's Photo right away and get your pre-order in. Now, I've got a lot to tell you about the R1, but I hear a delivery coming. Oh, speedy delivery. Oh, wow, look at that. Look what we just got. The new Canon 100 to 300 lens. And I'll tell you one story about this lens. I haven't had a chance to photograph with it, but my friends who went to the Olympics in Paris, that was their favorite lens for sports, for portraits, and they were using it with pre-production samples of the R1. And to a person, they all loved the performance of the R1, the sharpness of the pictures, the quality, and the amazing performance of that 100 to 300 lens. It's awesome. So let's talk a little bit about the R1. It's a full frame, 24 megapixel sports wildlife camera. That's what it's designed for. Anybody can use it. But the whole point here is amazing picture quality and superb, superior, un, unencumbered focus on all kinds of subjects. So when you pick up the camera, it's about the same weight as the R3. For those of you who are coming from the uh, DSLR series, the 1DX or 1D series, it's quite a bit lighter than the 1D series of cameras. And those of you with film cameras, it's a whole lot less weighty than the, R, the, uh, the EOS 1 series of cameras. It has a great feel to it. You can see it has the built-in grip. It takes the big Canon battery, so it'll photograph all day. And that's one of the things my buddy who've used, buddies who've used this a lot is they photographed all day at the Olympics, five or 6,000 photos, you know, 30, 40 minutes, an hour's worth of video, and awesome pictures, awesome video on one battery. On the side here, you see it takes a Compact Flash Express card, two Compact Flash Express cards. You want the Compact, Compact Flash Express Type B. You want a super high speed card like the Prograde Iridium or the Delkin Black are my two favorite cards. Those are gonna be the cards that just really make this camera fly for photo and video. Up on the top, you've got the, the screen with the mode dial. So you tr change the modes like you're doing on most of the modern Canon cameras today. On and off on the back. So plus minus exposure, white balance, illuminator. So the drive control, the flash control, and it bracketing control there. It has the new Canon lockable speed light port, which is hard to get off. And people are complaining about that. But I love it because how many times have you lost the cover on your flash terminal because it just easily slides on and off? With the lock on there and you hear it click, it's on there and it's not coming off. That also makes the top of the camera weather resistant. Now, as a beginner or a first time user with the camera like I was today, the first thing you notice after you pick it up is it's the most awesomest viewfinder on any camera I've ever seen. It's big, it's bright, it's crisp, it's got plenty of room. Your eye sees through it right away. And there's a lot to see in the viewfinder. Because why are we gonna love the Canon R1? Because of the focus. And they've done some really cool things with the focus. It's got a number of different focus schemes. So you can do the spot or four dots or nine dots or the whole screen or part of the screen. And you can adjust all that stuff. That's all cool. But what's really neat about the camera is not only can I choose which focusing squares I'm going to use, but I can also tell it to prioritize what kind of a subject and what kind of action I'm shooting. So I can set it for people animals, vehicles, and if you've never tried a mirrorless full-frame camera with pro focus capabilities, you will be absolutely blown away. So I'm gonna choose a focusing area that's relatively small so I can put that on the subject that I want. Let the camera focus there and then have it track the subject as it moves across the screen. 
it makes action photography, sports photography, people photography flawless. It's amazing. You can also use the sports priority. So sports priority on the R1, basketball, volleyball, soccer, it knows, it follows the subject. So I put the, the focus on my subject. It sees that subject catch the ball. And then when the subject throws or kicks the ball to the next person, it follows the ball to the next person in the screen. It is absolutely amazing. And you know what, gang? It works. Two other cool things about the focus on the R1. It has the, the people preference. So I, and I'm probably getting the names wrong on these. So you can lock in up to 10 people that you want the camera to focus. And they're ranked in order. Person number one is most important. So if I'm photographing a wedding, I'm going to put the bride at number one, the mother of the bride at number two, the groom at number three. So when it sees people in the frame, it picks the person that you have prioritized as focus. If you're shooting a soccer game or a basketball game and your child or the person you're covering for your newspaper is in the game, you take a photograph of them just during warm-up, just get a headshot during warm-up, lock that in as person number one, and when it sees them in the frame, it'll track them. It's absolutely, positively amazing. The other feature that I just really am excited to photograph and get the most use out of is the pre-capture mode, where you can hold the camera, the shutter release down on a subject, have it focus. The camera is recording, and when I press down, it will save the second before and as long as I leave my picture down, still pictures. It is amazing. Think about that for animal photography. How many of us are on the bird? You're on the bird, you're on the bird, on the bird. Bird is doing nothing, bird is doing nothing. You've got 200 pictures of the bird doing nothing, and then they fly, and that's the picture that you want. With this, you just hold your finger down on the shutter release, halfway down, it's recording, and as soon as the bird flies, you hit the button, and it will give you the second before, no, it's half a second, half a second before, and as long as you leave your finger down, those pictures at up to 40 frames per second raw. It's amazing what the quality does. So, 40 frames per second in raw, higher frames per second if you don't mind the raw or a smaller image frame, super cool. On the back, swing out screen, very cool. All of the controls, it looks just like your other Canon mirrorless cameras, your R5, your R5 Mark II, your R6, some changes there. I mean, we could go through all of those, but you can look at the instruction book for that. What's really important to me is the feel of the camera, which feels great, the viewfinder, which is absolutely awesome, and the focus tracking, which is absolutely phenomenal. And you get the feeling like, it's almost like cheating nowadays. You know, and I go out to sporting events with you know, a cool camera like this, and you see people on the sidelines with older cameras, with DSLR cameras that are still struggling with focus. And now I can lock the focus on my subject, it tracks them, boom, 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 boom. I'm getting hundreds of pictures from a sporting event, from wildlife that are in focus, that are amazing. 24 full frame megapixels from the R1 are beautiful. You know, we're routinely making 24 by 36 or 40 by 60 prints here in the lab from these files. Absolutely amazing. If you want the Canon R1, come on down to Paul's Photo, get your deposit in. So end of November, we're hoping cameras will be available. So you can get it this year's on this year's taxes or for your own Christmas gift this year. We're going to get, get cameras for everybody we can. You know, we have the 100 to 300 in stock. You saw the deal on the 600 F4. We have the 800 5.6, the 1200 F8 all in stock. All your sports, all your wildlife lenses in stock here at Paul's Photo. Get on the list for the R1 because this camera rocks and you won't believe what you're going to get with this over what you've got now. And I don't care what you got now. Upgrade to the R1 for my Canon people and you are going to rock your world. Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like. Tell your friends. Tell the internet. If you didn't like it, give me a call and we'll talk about it. Have a great day, everybody. Happy Friday and we'll see you Saturday.